Hi, my name is Jerry Strasser, and I'm one of the co-authors on the Lowers text. Thus far, you've heard from my co-authors, Jay Thibodeau, Penny Bagley, and Alan Blay. What I'd like to do is introduce the last issue of our text, and that is currency. One of the most important things we can do as audit educators is to create a live classroom for our students, and bring the real world into the classroom, showing them that the audit profession is one that's dynamic and ever-changing. The challenge, of course, is how do we keep up with everything that's going on? What we've done is created some features that are support materials for our textbook to allow you to do just this. Our mission with both our text and our support materials is to give you, the faculty member, the access to the most current materials and allow you to create this current classroom for your students. So let me go do a screen share real quickly and we'll walk through some of the things that we've added to our next edition. So as you can see, we have three things that I'm gonna focus on the updated auditor, the updated classroom, and the standards update. And you'll see the word update, current, current, current. The updated auditor is something we do monthly. And what we do with the updated auditor is summarize major uh, business press articles and relevant academic research uh, that you can use in the classroom. Our updated classroom, you can see this is done twice a year in August and January, just in time for the start of traditional semesters. And these are one page summaries of some of the more significant events and significant developments in the accounting profession that you can incorporate into your classrooms. Finally, we have the standards update. Uh, the AICPA, the PCAOB uh, continue to issue new standards, continue to issue exposure drafts. And what we wanna do is make sure that your students have access to the most current professional standards or exposure drafts to professional standards that are gonna be changing as they go through their college careers and enter the accounting profession. Uh, if you go to the Connect, you can we have a directory of instructor resources. And some of these you've already been uh, addressed by some of my co-authors. Penny uh, Bagley talked about Apollo shoes. Alan Blay talked about data and analytics. Uh, what I'm gonna do is focus on the updated classroom feature. You can see we have the layout here by chapter. Uh, and you can see for most of the chapters, we have updated classroom cases. Theranos, KPMG inspection and the cheating scandal, Sealed Air Corporation, Wirecard. You can see for chapter four, we have a number of different things. This allows you to decide what cases make sense to incorporate into what parts of your class. Our professional standards update, again, this is something we do uh, every January and August, uh, start of the semesters. You can see here, uh, we have some minor cleanup from uh, the audit reporting standards that were issued subsequent to the publication of our book. You can see audit evidence, you can see accounting estimates. These are all final AICPA standards, examination engagements. Here we have an exposure draft related to SSAE number 18 for accounting and attestation engagements. And you can see here we have an exposure draft from the PCAOB on group auditors. Moving on to the updated auditor. This is for the month of December. In December, if you remember, one of the things that was being discussed uh, quite a bit in the business press was delisting Chinese firms who would not allow the PCOB to inspect their audits. So you can see we have a couple of uh, examples of Wall Street Journal articles from there. As we page forward, you can just see a number of different things, uh, both business press articles. Here, there's an academic study that's being uh, summarized for you. Again, the key here on a monthly basis, you can see what's happening in the accounting profession. You can incorporate these materials into your classes. Uh, we also publish what we call a best of. Think of this as 2020's greatest hits. Some of the most significant items from updated auditor through that year. So this gives you a year long summary. So if you happen to miss a month or you wanna think about something, incorporating something that happened earlier in the year, this allows you to do just that. Finally, the updated classroom. This is the most current feature uh, that we've added to uh, our instructor support materials. Uh, if you were like me in the summer, every time you picked up the Wall Street Journal, it seemed like somebody was talking about Wirecard and what happened with Wirecard. Uh, the updated classroom are organized in a couple of separate sections. We have a brief summary of the issue, it allows you and your students to get a very, very quick 30,000 foot understanding of the major things related to this issue. Then we have a series of references. This allows you to sign these readings to your students if you'd like to do so. Uh, and then finally, we have a section called classroom implementation. And what we wanna do here is just give you guidance in terms of where we think this might fit within our textbook and within your classes. Uh, obviously, this is gonna be up to you, but think of this as kind of a teaching note to a Harvard case. Here's how you can position the issue, 
here's where you can cover it in your classroom. Uh, so again, I'd like to just thank you for uh, taking the time to view the video. Uh, we're very, very excited about our textbook. And the one thing I just want to reiterate, our mission is really, really simple, to give you all the tools you need to provide the most current, up-to-date education for your students.